What's up everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed folks. Today I want to talk about patient monitors versus vital signs monitors. There is a difference and it's, it's not just a terminology difference. It's actually a legal and regulatory difference. So here we have, this is a GE. It's the VC150. You guys know these, the Dynamaps, they've been around for a long time. This is a vital sign monitor. And these are the series of Philips monitors from the IntelliView series. I got the MP5, MP30, and the MP50, the big boy. And these ones here are all patience monitors. And first off, the parameters. There's a big difference in parameters of what you're monitoring. So with patient vital signs monitors, normally you got NIBP, pulse oximetry, and you've got temperature. And these can be used to monitor a patient in triage, like in an ER or in a, a doctor's office. But when you are monitoring a patient for a duration, you need a patient monitor. And if you notice these little windows up here, these are part of that regulatory difference. So this one here will have an alarm for some parameters. But these guys here have life safety alarms. Like we have amber alarms and we have, you know, hard code like red alarms. And that is for if you are going to have critical situations like your ECG. If your ECG detects an asystole, this guy here goes like nuts. And this guy here doesn't have ECG and it doesn't have that capability. Not saying that some of these won't, but it's the interface and the ability to alarm while you're monitoring that patient. And that is going to be the number one big difference. Now I'm going to be doing a series of videos on these guys over here. Compliments of the Dalton Foundation and Relink Medical. And this GE right here, this guy was compliments of IMED Biomedical out of Dallas. And thanks to everybody for donating them. But uh, we're going to be going into some bigger differences. But uh, the parameters are not necessarily the difference. The software and the ability to alarm and alert if there is a situation, that is going to be the biggest difference between the two. So there you have it guys. We got patient monitors. Uh, we got vital science monitors and we got patient monitors. They are not interchangeable. If a hospital is monitoring on a patient monitor and something happens to that patient, they will be out of compliance and that hospital can get in some big, big trouble. That's why we have these guys here with their extended alarms and capabilities. Thanks for watching guys.